Hi friends, today I want to talk about video speed control in Safari. I have previously talked about video speed control or podcast speed control on iOS and I also talked about how to do it in Chrome, but I'm also going to do an update on that. But I also got a couple of questions around the topic of how do you do that in Safari. And a couple of weeks ago, I actually tried to switch to Safari to see whether or not I liked that interface and the speed or such things. Now, I'm not necessarily going to use Safari as my main browser, but I did try to basically get set up in the way that I am used to with my normal Chrome or Brave browser setup. One of those things, of course, is video speed control, which I find incredibly important for myself. And I actually recently learned that there are really good reasons for video speed control and especially speeding up the videos that you are consuming. And there are, interesting enough, actually good reasons for speeding up the videos or podcasts or audiobooks that you are consuming, specifically when you are trying to learn something from those resources or gather information. And with the density that you can achieve with video speed control, you are stimulating your brain more than if you were to only consume everything at normal speed. And I will have links to a couple of resources down in the description below, which I found on the basically on the GitHub repository for the video speed control app for uh, Chrome. But those studies basically say that it is easier to digest information for certain individuals in sped up form because of the information density that you are consuming and your brain actually is more stimulated when you are consuming it at a higher speed. Now that topic in itself is not necessarily for this video, but I have to tell you from my own experience, oftentimes now if I watch a video in normal speed and it's not like a movie or a TV series, it actually feels weirdly slow. And then I go to 1.5x and it's like normal. And then I go to 2x and it's basically a little faster than normal, but it, it, it just is a really interesting transition to getting used to those higher speeds. But now let's jump over to the screen and look into the Accelerate for Safari extension, which basically gives you video speed control for macOS and especially for Safari. Now, why those functionalities are not yet default in those browsers, I don't know, but at least there are ways of actually activating those things with apps or extensions like Accelerate for Safari. The cool thing with this application is that you can actually get those shortcuts working that I also was used to in Chrome and you actually can also basically change those that you have an easy shortcut to immediately jump to a certain preferred speed setting. For me that's around 2x uh, and you might want to choose that for yourself and I'm gonna show you how you can do that yourself. Now this extension is available in the Mac App Store and as you can see here, this is the site that will bring you there. I will have all of those links of course linked in the description below so you can check those out for yourself. But you can of course also just choose this button right here. Now moving over to the App Store page, you can see we have that open right now. I already have that installed but usually you would just click that install button right there and then this little window opens right here. Now you might want to also open the Safari extension preferences and if you go there then you can see we are going to Safari and then go to Safari preferences and here under extensions you can actually enable this application or this extension so that it is actually active and with that we can go back into the Accelerate preferences and as you can see there are a handful of settings not all that many but you don't really need much more. Now the things that you do have here are for example that you might want to have the right click menu available. This however is something that does not work on every browser player because some of those actually prevent you from right clicking. For example I heard that Netflix does not allow the right click functionality but you might still be able to work with the shortcuts and such things that we are going to talk about in a moment. Then what I find helpful is that you can also have a notification pop up when you do change the speed. That's really nice and that is inside of the video player. And then we also have the default playback speed, preferred playback speed and the interval change settings basically or the interval between steps. Now going on for the shortcuts, personally I change the toggle preferred shortcut to G and then you have the D and S for speeding up and speeding down. 
you have A to jump to the default speed, which may or may not be the 1x depending on your settings. And as I mentioned, I prefer G to be the setting for basically jumping to my preferred speed. Now, when I play back this video, you can see that it is in normal speed and you might even be able to hear that. Uh, but basically what we can do now is I can jump to the double speed for 2x with the key G. And if I just take the keyboard here, hit the G, and you can see at the top left corner, there was a notification showing the speed change. And as you also can see is that now there is the sped up version of myself talking in the video. Now, something important to note here is that Safari and the pitch correction actually is not as good as the one in Chrome. And apparently that has nothing to do with Accelerate as the extension for Safari, but simply the audio engine or the video playback engine that Safari uses. So when you do choose to playback something in Safari at 2x or more, the pitch will actually change with that and will not be corrected the same way as it would in Chrome. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I'm not going to stick with Safari as my main browser because of that aspect of the pitch control in video playback. It's just not as pleasant to listen to. But if you want to use Safari as your main browser and you are okay with working with that pitch control that is included but it's not really that good sounding, then this may be a option for you. Playing back video in other browsers, for example, Chrome or Brave or Edge or something similar, is actually not as performant as in Safari. They have really done a good job there. But again, if you do want to have the speed control and you want to have higher playback speeds, you might want to choose another browser for that. Now, something that's also important is that this extension, of course, is not able to be used on iPad or iOS because the Safari on there does not have the same extension features that the Mac has. So this is something that is only available for Mac OS at the time of this recording. Now that wraps up this video. I hope it was helpful for you in speeding up your video playback in Safari. If it was, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Send this to someone that might find it interesting. Leave any questions, comments, or feedback in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.